the entire money structured and materialistic oriented society is a false society. 10 or 15 years from now, our society will go down in history as the lowest development in man. We have the brains, the know-how, the technology, and the feasibility to build an entirely new civilization. You believe that uh, we, we teach competition, that it's not bred into some... Competition is dangerous, socially offensive, considered right and normal, because you are brought up to that value system. What kind of competition did Jesus have? What kind of competition is there in your body? Suppose your brain said, I'm the most important organ, and the liver said, I am, and I want to go a free enterprise system. You'd rot away in a month if every organ of your body went out for itself. Socio-cyberneering does not appeal to governments, to private enterprise. We're going to do this thing. Just as the automobile phased out the stagecoach, just as television stepped in and phased out the old vaudeville and the old motion pictures, that history and technology is respecters of no society, no individual opinions, but it moves on, and we've got to be prepared to face the future. In your society, there are no mayors of cities? There, there are, are no mayors, there are no politicians, and you don't have to fill out any forms to go to the art center or music center, and you go to a university whether you can afford it or not. You don't have to use any of the system today. Let me briefly say this. You have a bumper in front of your car, behind your car. But your society, your car's hit on the side also. You have safety belts and harnesses in your car. But that assumes that you're going to hit, be hit by the rear or in front. If you're hit on a side, you go right through the side of the windshield. What good are these approaches? They are designed by men that are cerebral insufficiency. You've got to design a society with a bumper all around the car, phase out human drivers, put electronic guidance systems in cars, or eliminate the automobile and design a holistic transportation system. We must put our mind to this as we do to put a man on the moon. We must put our mind to the social problem. We wish to get away from politics. We wish to get away from the old world method of solving problems. This is clean sources of power. By utilizing the natural heat of the earth, that is volcanic energy, or the magma, or the molten lava under the earth, of which there are approximately 500 potentials. If we tap a, a mountain in Hawaii called Mount Aloha, we can get enough power to electrify the world. We can get enough power from that volcano alone. We have 500 potential volcanoes we can harness. We can use that natural heat from the volcano. No smog, no smoke, no dirt, no gases, no fuels, no oil spills, and no more burning of fuels in any city to generate power. If Japan used Fujiyama, they don't need to burn oil. They don't need oil. All of that heat is sitting there. 20 million years of power right under the Earth's surface. In fact, you don't even need to use fusion power or nuclear power, and it's easy to tap, and it's clean and available. And as soon as we make up our minds to put scientists, rather than on weapons, nerve gas, on harnessing the Earth power that is already here, it would take 10 years to change the surface of the Earth, to rebuild the world into a second Garden of Eden. The choice lies with you. The stupidity of a nuclear arms race the development of weapons, trying to solve your po problems politically by electing this political party or that political party, that all politics is immersed in corruption. Let me say it again. Communism, socialism, fascism, the Democrats, the liberals, we want to absorb human beings, women's lib, all organizations that believe in a better life for man. There are no Negro problems or Polish problems or Jewish problems or Greek problems or women's problems, they're human problems. To come into socio cyberneering and take your part and function. We are not concerned with the divisions of segments of society. No uh, control of population? Population control is dependent upon education. We feel an educated population needs no control. You wouldn't stop sex? No, sir. Right. Good right. move, Jacques.